What is good, YouTube? What's you here with a video on Captain America, the brave new world. So this past weekend, we possibly had potentially one of the greatest Comic Cons in a very long time. It is now Tuesday, and Robert Downey Jr.'s name is still trending. Doctor Doom still trending. Multiverse of Madness is trending. Harrison Ford is trending. So multiple things that came out during Comic Con. Robert Downey Jr. returning to play Victor Von Doom, or the infamous Iron Man, as some people seem to think. I do find that funny because they've just said he's playing Doom. They've not actually said anything at all. And now you're getting like all these Avengers Doom Days plot leaks coming out already. Calm down, lads. There's lots of time for that. So if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to so never miss any more DC Kaiju Monster vs. Pop Culture based content. That I will be covering here on the channel. Also, if you could become a channel member, help support the channel. Also, follow us on Twitter, Wishtu G. Follow us on Instagram, at Wishtu. Right, let's get into it. So, there is some crazy, bold claims about Captain America 4, similar to Captain Marvel. But it's also worth saying that Deadpool and Wolverine absolutely slayed it around $440 million opening weekend, just over 200 in the top 10 biggest domestic opening weekends ever, which is really impressive. And then 440 ish total. Very, very good. But does it have legs on the second week? We will find out soon. So, the brave claims about Captain America 4, which I think they're just throwing it out there because they only have a few movies next year. Obviously, they have the Thunderbolts and Fantastic Four, which is going to get even more hype now because there was the rumor post credit scene of Doctor Doom appearing in the Fantastic Four. That scene, post credit scene, has been talked about for nearly two years now. Don't believe any scooper that tries to claim accreditation for that. That Doctor Doom post credit scene in the Fantastic Four movie has been out there for the longest time ever. So apparently, a brave new world is key to the MCU's future. Now, I, I kind of call, like, very hyperbolic. This is very much nonsense. Because Kevin Feige said back in 2019, says Captain Marvel will lead the Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward. You have to watch Captain Marvel in between Infinity War and Endgame to understand Endgame, and really, you didn't. But Chris Evans' Captain America is and always will be a pinnacle part of the MCU going forward. Whether this is true, that they are going to build the new universe around whatever happens in Brave New World Order, we have a plot leak video that was basically confirmed by the first official trailer to be true. But not only that, My Time to Shine has been exposed. In fact, a lot of scoopers got exposed this weekend at Comic-Con. He says, Espedito, it was playing George Washington Bridge. Turns out that you couldn't actually be any further from the truth. Like, so far away from the actual truth. So Espedito proclaimed during the panel, so this is not a scooper saying, this is actually coming from the guy playing him. I am the king of the Serpent Society. I am a sidewinder. Which is interesting, right? Because a lot of people thought that the Serpent Society had been absolutely scrapped from the movie. The fact that a scooper got sick wrong and was so clear makes me laugh. 1.7 million views on Twitter. July the 5th, and it totally wrong, and no one said anything about it. But you know, your boy Wall Street was always going to say something. I am very much looking forward to this movie because this movie could set everything up going forward. Now, the Russo Bros said, In the multiverse, we need the best actor. Okay, I hate to say it, it should have been Killian Murphy playing Doctor Doom, if you ask me, but there could be multiple variants. I'm not going to hate on it. It's cool that RDJ's back. He is the GOAT of the MCU. Let's see whatever they do. But the multiverse, we don't really even know if the, if the storyline going forward is multiversal, because let's be honest, Deadpool and Wolverine was pretty much self-contained. They've also changed the... They've also changed what the anchor beings were supposed to be, really. Realistically, the Logan that died in the Logan movie was the anchor of that universe, but now the anchor is the Wolverine in Deadpool and Wolverine from the universe 10,005. So Marvel keep changing what the freaking are they doing? So I very much believe Captain America 4 could be pinnacle going forward because a Captain America will always be pinnacle in a Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now this article here is coming courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. It's a few days old now, but yeah, I've kind of been yeah off the radar the last few days. So Mackie will officially take up the mantle of Captain America donning the shield. This was all revealed at Comic-Con, where Espedio said, I am the king of the Serpent Society, the Sidewinder. In Marvel Comics, there's three different versions of the Sidewinder that have appeared in the comics. Sidewinder is a villain and perpetuated thorn in Captain America's side. Whilst visiting the Entertainment Studio, SPDO further confirmed that he would play in the Seth alliteration of 
the classic comic character. He is a complicated guy who didn't start in an nefarious way, teased as Pluto. He came to this in a very different way, which hopefully will unfold. And I like it because you see me play certain villainous characters who use their brains, who are great at dictating what to do and how to do it. I like Sidewinder because he's a very physical guy and he got to go toe to toe with his physicality and he knows how to do it and use the tools of his trade. So he's someone who plays against some of the things in the comics that you may think could be true. Very interesting, but he's not George. He ain't, the lad ain't George Washington Bridge. He ain't. He's Sidewinder, which kind of debunks the whole, they've scrapped the whole Serpent Society part of the movie out, which is even more fantastic. Espertino isn't the only familiar comic book character coming to the MCU. Samuel Stern is also returning, who was last seen in Incredible Hulk. So he says he's returning 16 years later. Stern's transformation into the leader as a villain who develops superpowers after being exposed to gamma radiation. Yeah, this basically confirms the plot. It's true again. As for on-screen legends, Harrison Ford, who was in a rare form after hulking out on Hall H, he clarified that his confusion over Red Hulk in the previous interview was deliberate to throw people off the scent. I did know, I thought it was a spectacular secret to keep, he said. Unfortunately, the secret's out of the bag. Yeah, the secret was always out of the bag. I had seen other actors in the Marvel Universe, well-respected, really good actors, have a really good time and continue, and I said, I want me some of that. And I got some. Pretty cool. So as we know, he's most famously known for Indiana Jones. He's better at dealing with snakes. Sidewinder is, after all, the king of the second snakes. And in some iterations, he's actually a snake. But I don't think that's going to be the case here. Well, Ford responded with his characteristic sense of humor. I've always treated these questions with the utmost respect and somehow at the same time, complete disdain. He quipped, I will not answer that stupid question, but thank you for the opportunity. Pretty interesting. So, Captain America 4 is what they're going to build the whole future on for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is Kevin Feige just saying the same thing he said, like he said for Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, I think she's a great character, but she definitely isn't the face of the MCU going forward anymore. I think Kevin Feige just said that to get people to watch the movie, basically, but at least Captain Marvel is actually super strong. So, Brave New World is a great title for this film. The main man himself, Anthony Mackie, teased, it's a new beginning, it's a new foundation of which Marvel will build the universe on now. Not only this character, but all the characters that surround him are new building blocks for us to utilize to move on through the universe and into the future. I don't know if he's talking about the Captain America franchise or if he's talking about the whole greater MCU, but it is cool that he seems enthusiastic for it. But at the same time, I just get the vibe he doesn't want to be in these interviews. He doesn't want to be at Hall H. I don't know what it is. I just get the vibe that he doesn't really want to be there. But realistically, he does have a lot of potential. But you can't judge someone on the potential. You've got to judge them on how they do. So let's see how this movie plays out. We do know, careful for spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. If you read the plot leaks or you know the plot leaks, the movie is supposed to essentially end with the new Avengers being formed. And the fact that we're getting Doctor Doom played by Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely freaking insane. And it makes me think this new Avengers team is going to be even freaking more useless. So apparently, the new Avengers team will be Hulk, She-Hulk, Shang-Chi, Ant-Man, Wasp, Shuri, White Vision, and War Machine. Against Doom, you're all you really are. So, also in the news, not really news, the X-Men was supposed to have a huge reveal at San Diego Comic-Con, but now the scoop is like, yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be D23. Now, people hate on me sometimes when I get things wrong. You gotta understand, I'm taking information from so-called trusted insiders and people that know stuff. When they get stuff wrong, it ain't on me, lads. I just report information, news, theories, leaks. I just report information I think you guys will like. But at this San Diego Comic-Con, it was absolutely fire. Really good. RDJ returning has really got the Marvel fandom hyped for something again. Because not only will he appear in Avengers 5 and Avengers 6, he's probably going to appear in Fantastic Four post credit scene because he's a Fantastic Four villain. After. Well, he's mostly known for that. But although the scoop has basically got everything wrong at this San Diego Comic-Con, doesn't matter who came out saying they heard RDJ is playing Doctor Doom. Every YouTuber made that video about a year ago, that a rumor ever since Endgame, really. So it does make me laugh when scoopers come out and say stuff that YouTubers or TikTokers or people on Instagram have literally came up with theories and they just throw it out there like it's confirmed. So this San Diego Comic-Con was pretty cool and the scoopers basically got everything wrong. But I'm happy they are. Captain America 4 does look pretty cool, for sure. Really looking forward to seeing what they do with the Red Hulk, to seeing what the leader can do. Outside of the, the, the leaks, it does still sound like a pretty cool movie. 
And hopefully, Mackey can take over the mantle properly and people can accept him as the new Captain America going forward. So likewise, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarsChu. Check us out on Twitter at WarsChuG. And I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.